Imagine trying to fill a cup when it's moving all over the place. God doesn't ask us to be still in order to sideline us, but to refresh us and supply all of our daily needs. Hello friends and welcome to day 70 of 100 days of Believing Bigger. I am so excited to be here today on what feels like another milestone day. We have 30 days left in this 100 day devotional by Marshawn Evans Daniels. Today is the final day on the topic of stillness. And we are going to start out by looking at Matthew 6, 33. It says, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. We all have desires in life, but those desires require development before they become a reality. The fullness of God's blessing and plan is missing in far too many lives because we are unwilling to submit to have our lives being rebuilt by Him. Marshawn writes that God is the Creator, Jesus is the Resurrector, and the Holy Spirit is the Counselor. She says, in him we have the divine ability to create and be a catalyst for hope, direction, and clarity in the lives of others. However, that good work must happen in us before it manifests through us. What's that saying? You can't pour from an empty cup. It starts with being surrendered to a divine building process a process that enables God's promises to take root in us. She goes on to say, God is seeking to get more of himself, his heart, his mind, and his ability in you. A supernatural infilling requires intentional stillness. She closes up today by saying, miracles can't happen if we're too busy to kneel before God and bathe in his presence. Seeking the kingdom by creating time and space for solitude and communion with God is how God shapes us and supplies us for the more that he has in store for us. And if you are believing bigger for your life and you're part of this devotional journal, then I'm sure that the more that you're believing for in your life is one that is kingdom seeking. And that's exactly what this is about today. So with this in mind that we've talked about, let's look at the question of the day. How is God seeking to use stillness to create in you a greater capacity for your calling? Well, I know that myself, I've mentioned this before, and I know that most anyone that is an adult and has a job, a family, a home to take care of, that you can relate to this also. We get so busy in the busyness of our days, that God gets put on the back burner. Our spiritual growth gets put on the back burner. If you don't have time to enter into that relational, one-on-one -on -one communion time with God, then the growth is going to be stagnant. So that's what came to me in that. And if you have something that you would like to add to that, we would love to read it in the comments section below. Today is going to be a very short video, but as always, I do want to say that if you have a prayer request, I would love to pray with you for that. And if you just want to write unspoken, you can do that. Or if you want to share what your needs are, then feel free to do that as well. Let's go ahead and close in prayer today. God, create in me a capacity for miracles. As I seek you persistently, build me from the inside out so that I can be the blessing that you built me to be. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you again for joining me here today. If you are enjoying this video series, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. That is a blessing to me when you do that. Also give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and maybe even share with a friend. If this journal is something that you would like to get your hands on yourself and dig into it, I have put a link in the 
a description area of this video below. And there's also a book and some other things that you can buy all along the same lines of this um, devotional by Marshawn Evans Daniels called 100 Days of Believing Bigger. Thanks again, y'all, and have a wonderful day. Bye.